Alrighty, I have a construction update for you guys today. Um, this is from yesterday. Um, so things are moving south along the brake run area. We are heading towards this exact path, the maintenance shed or maintenance tunnel, where they'll enter into a ride zone. So that is going to be a ride area in there. Um, this is tunnel number three where the ride will enter into. As you can see, they've covered it up so you can't see into it at all. Um, but this is the station area and the turn out of the station that will lead into the booster launch. Um, I am going to talk about the station in this video because there is a correction we need to make, um, which is an exciting correction, to be honest. It could be a really exciting. But as you can see here, the caissons were dug for the brake run area. I want to show you guys the mass size. You can barely tell because there's water in them, but those are all cement. Um, those are really big caissons to handle a lot of forces. Um, so this is going to be a brake run that is designed to handle um, a very uh, large amount of stress as the train enters the brake run, which is a sign, not a ne not necessarily something that is stating, so we could be wrong with this, but it looks like this ride is going to come into the brake run with a lot of speed. Um, they are about to do the caissons over here beside the sprite game. Um, there are two right here. There is another two just off to the right of it. So right here, there's another two. Um, and then there is another two uh, just off on the other end of the ramp going into the, the maintenance tunnel there. So as you can tell, if you're to look, this is either going to go over Vortex's lift hill or through Vortex's lift hill. Um, so it's got to have a lot of speed if it's going over. Um, and it's still got to have a decent amount of speed if it's going through. It's, it's got to maintain that until it hits the brake run, the yellow line. The orange is the, um, the station. Um, so we do have um, some concrete evidence to go off of that the station is going to be about... It's going to be about 60 feet. And to put that into comparison, um, Leviathan Station is around 56 feet. So this is a decently sized station which could mean a couple of things. It could be a dual load, um, it could be a load and unload, or it could be a completely new train design with longer trains from Premier. Now, with this being a park like Canada's Wonderland and Premier's largest project they've worked on, um, it wouldn't surprise me if it went either one of those directions. This is a really highly attended seasonal theme park, um, so you are you could be looking at a whole new train design with longer trains. You could be looking at a load and unload to help with capacity, or you could be looking at dual load. Um, I will say that I don't see the purpose for a dual load. I don't see a holding area um, or signs of a holding area, so I don't think it's a dual load. So if anything, I would say it's between a load and unload station or a longer train slash new train design from Premier. That would be my prediction. Anyways, that's all I have for a construction update for you guys today. Um, stay tuned for tomorrow's because I have some tea to talk about um, in terms of some caissons um, somewhere in the park. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.